on board, here aboard. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Dad, what the... Why are we moving all this stuff around? I told you, my great-grandfather just left us all this, so we had to sort it. Choose what to keep, what to give away, and what to throw away. You know? But, Dad, I don't want to... Melissa. Fine. As they're going through huh, some old stuff, they come across something particularly weird. Like a capsule. Uh, Dad, what's this thing here? Well, my, uh, well, he was a fan of experimentation. Wait, so there's a person in here? Or, well, one of his creations, definitely, but. Is. Is something to be worried about? No, no. I mean. I. I, I hope not. Hmm. Let's open it. What? Yeah, let's open it. Let's see what is it. No, no, we are not messing with this thing. We don't know if it could be dangerous, radioactive, or... I'm opening it. As soon as it begins to wake up, Izuku, he's... Was this a mistake? Maybe. Uh, uh, uh. Who are you? Zuku, I know. Dad, who is this? It was... Oh my... I, I need to make a call. What was that about? I don't know. You're the one that just came out of that weird pod-like thing. Yeah, but who woke me up? Yeah. Who? Uh, nothing. I. Hmm. Either way, uh, so. Where am I? You're in, uh. You're on, uh, I Island. Oh. Hmm. That's nice. But, uh, well, I guess things could be uh, a lot of weirder. So, what's your name, kid? Melissa. How do you call me, kid? How old are you? Uh, I can't remember. It's been so long. As then David comes back, he's pretty much... There's someone you should meet. As this older woman shows up and looks at Izuku, 
They told me you were dead. Who are you? Do you... It's... Me. Inko. Inko Midoriya. Not ringing the bell. But you're... I'm... Your mother. I have a mom? Well, at least I'm not alone. But wait. Why are you so old? Isuku, don't you... I'm sorry, but my name is Shadow. I don't know anyone named Izuku. As soon as David realizes, I remember that name. Oh, good, so you do know me. No, it was part of a project. And my great. As Inko punches David with all the strength she can use up and Isuku catches her before she falls over. Why'd you do that for? It's because of a friend I trusted. Took you away from me. Said he could make you better. What? What do you mean by making me better? You... Were sick. And hurt. You wanted to be a hero. The only thing is, you didn't have a quirk. But you tried anyway. Really? Yeah. So, so what? Am I... You were declared dead. But what happened to your hair? It's supposed to be green. Um, I don't know. The last thing I remember is someone, uh, Maria, I think. What? How do you know that name? Uh, I... She was very important to me. And... Something bad happened. I'm... Uh, soldiers... She tried, we were running... I was fast enough, but she... Uh, she was too slow. I, had, I couldn't just... Leave her behind, but then she, she was killed. Yeah. <clears throat> she got shot. But she told me something. Something important. I know it's important. I can feel it, but. <sighs> I. I'm, uh, what? I can't remember. How long was I in there? You were 14. When you, you got hurt. No, no one could do anything to help you, but this is when Gerald Decided to step in. Okay. Tell me more. Well, you say he could actually help you with some experimental medicine he's been making for Maria. Yeah. 
my aunt Maria. So, she is dead. Unless she can survive a bullet wound, I would say so. <sighs> but how are you here? Dad, this is a stasis pod. That would explain why he was sleeping, but it doesn't really make sense to how he hasn't aged a day. Actually, that, that makes perfect sense. Gerald, he has uh, created something to slow down, or at least put you in a sleep-like state, as well as keep your body perfectly preserved, meaning you won't need sleep, or technically you are sleeping, but that Let's talk about this later, and, uh, Izu, I mean, uh, Shadow, you can stay here, or try to process all of this happened, it's really up to you. Thank you, and, uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Um, yeah. Thank you, uh, Shadow. His name is Izuku. Please remember your own name. I I'm sorry, miss. Call me mom. I am your mother. I'm sorry, but I can't remember anything. It's okay. I, I I can teach you. I I can. I I'll find a way to help you get your memories back. For, okay. Oh. And there's. But I do remember something. Um. Here. I was wondering who Inko was, but. What's this? Well, I don't know. I was just, it was just in there with me. Uh, okay. So, was this uh, a flash drive and, what was this, some kind of syringe injection? I guess, but. <sighs> if anything, I knew it was for you to see. Thank you for this. Of course. Now, if you don't mind, I would like to go back to sleep. No, you are not sleeping in that. Uh, why? Because we don't know if it has any fail state to make it so it won't open up again until a certain amount of time. I'm not risking that. Uh, alright, Miss Inko. Mom, just call me. Please just call me Mom. Uh, alright, Mom. You don't have to force yourself, but at least try. To remember something? I can try, but it, the odds of me being able to are slim. I don't know how long I've been sleeping, but uh, apparently I missed a lot. As soon as Zuku is asleep in a bed this time, Inko, Melissa, and David 
go just check out and see what's in this little flash drive and hopefully uncover what's in the syringe itself as soon as you plug it in it's Gerald him apologizing to Ingo is that his original reason for wanting to treat Izuku was for him to actually use Izuku to help cure Maria. But not everything goes as planned now, does it? Turns out the people that were helping him wanted uh, Izuku for their own nefarious purposes to turn him into a weapon and it was too late to back out. And he knew too much for them to just allow him to leave. In which he made Izuku into a weapon. When he saw the possible capabilities, they feared him. Decided to scrap the project and terminate it. Izuku, now going under the codename Shadow. When it comes to his less human companions, they want to take Izuku. Only thing is, Maria, being the only one who really spent time with him, talked with him, convinced him to let's. Get the fuck out of Dodge. Izuku was meant to be Maria's savior. But she ended up being his. They've wiped his memory, only giving him some combat as well as more understanding of his abilities which he will need to learn how to control. In that syringe I've collected uh, Izuku's memories. If you inject them within him while he's still sleeping he should remember everything but it will be one hell of a shock when you because it's not just one at a time all of his memories will come flooding in like a great tsunami and it's it may cause some collateral damage so make sure he's in a place where when this happens he can let loose you could say I cannot stress this enough. Make sure there's no one else in the, within the vicinity, or else it will become a disaster. By the time he wakes up, he's going to have questions. He's going to be begging for answers for what happened to him, in which there's another file on this this flash drive that should clear up everything but once he's done reading it's gonna it's it's gonna change his perspective you could say <sighs> I am so sorry Inko I never wanted any of this I just wanted Maria to be able to live a long, healthy life. And this is my punishment for being so selfish. I'm sorry for what I've done, for what we've done to your son. But if you look up. Look in his uh, 
pod, it should, uh, there should be something else. I can't rewind time. That technology is far beyond my capabilities or anyone's. But I can at least give you another chance to live your life with your son.